everybody. Today I'm going to review the Rapid Drill, which is a specialized attachment designed to work along with your standard cordless drill, and it will turn it into a mobile drill press. So you'll be able to get a lot of additional compound leverage. You can poke some very large holes through some very thick steel in just a matter of seconds. Now what I want to do in this video is go over the different features that they have built into it. We're going to take a look at how it actually works and we're going to be doing some performance testing to see how it's actually going to do on the job site with you. Now this is designed for steel erectors, fabricators, as well as custom trailer manufacturers. It will allow them to pop holes through, let's say, some C-channel on a trailer frame, through some I-beams when you're erecting a building, or even through plate steel, and it's going to do so very quickly and very efficiently. Now if you think about it, the amount of time savings that you're going to have in labor alone, this could pay for itself in maybe one or two jobs. So next let's go over the different features of it, and then we're going to see how it actually performs. The Rapid Drill is going to ship with this blow mold carrying case that does have a foam liner as well as cutouts inside for each item. Now inside this particular case is going to be the Rapid Drill with a drill chuck adapter already installed. It has two additional sizes if this one didn't match up with the drill you're using, as well as the Allen keys needed not only to make adjustments on the tool, but also to install your drill. The reason the Rapid Drill is so effective is compound leverage. Specifically, there's a gear at the top that's going to move the entire assembly as you move this handle. Now, it will have a total travel of 15 inches. Along with that, the bottom portion will only move one and a half inches. So you're having a 10 to 1 ratio. No matter how much power you put on the handle, it's applying 10 times as much force to the drill bit below. That's why you're able to really force your way through a piece of metal so quickly with relatively little effort. To install your drill in the Rapid Drill, it's very simple and you can use the included Allen key to loosen up the set screw. Once you do that, you'll slide it right over the front of the drill where the side handle would attach. Take the same Allen key, tighten up the set screw, in just a matter of seconds, it's installed. Now one thing that is very important is matching up the correct drill along with the Rapid Drill. The main thing to keep in mind, the portion right here behind the chuck where the side handle is going to attach does need to be completely round. So in this case the DeWalt does have the round part right here where the side handle would attach and that's going to match up to the Rapid Drill. However the rigid Gen 5X has the clamp style and that is not compatible. One other thing to keep in mind is the fact that although your drill may have a round portion on the front where the side handle will attach, it doesn't automatically make it compatible with the Rapid Drill. In this case, the DeWalt and the Fine are compatible, however the Ingersoll Rand is not because it's too large. So if you have a question as to whether your drill is going to be compatible or not, I suggest calling Rapid Drill and giving them the dimensions of it ahead of time so you can verify that your tool is going to work with it. When you want to drill a hole, all you really need to do is press the drill bit against the metal, then grab the back of the rapid drill and pull it forward. You'll hear it ratchet, and when it gets all the way to the end, you're going to be ready to go. At this point, you can pull in on the trigger at the same time as pulling up on this handle, and it's going to force the bit through the metal. Now once you get it all the way through, underneath of the lever is going to be a quick release tab, you press that down, hold in on it, and then you can open it right back up. You may need to make adjustments to the Rapid Drill as you go along, specifically because of clearance issues. Now the little receiver tube right here comes right out of the case, right in the middle setting. However, it does have room to move, which would give you additional clearance. This is designed not only to press against the back of the metal, but also receive the drill bit as it pokes through but it does need to be pressed flat against the metal in order to do that. In this case, if I try to tighten it up, the entire assembly is going to flex on me because it doesn't have enough clearance right here to touch the metal. That can be easily fixed by taking one of the included Allen keys out, loosening up this set screw, and then in just a matter of a second or two, it'll be loose enough so we can go ahead and take that receiver tube and then slide it forward against the metal. Now that it's nice and tight against the metal, I can go ahead, take that same Allen key, tighten the set screw back up, and now the Rapid Drill would be ready to go to drill through this metal. Now for a speed test, we'll be drilling two different holes to this I-beam. Now this is quarter inch thick steel in the center, and I'll be drilling a half inch hole through it with a brand new bit. 
Our first hole we're going to use just the cordless drill with a side handle attached. We're not going to drill a pilot hole and there's not going to be any cutting fluid applied. The second hole is going to use the exact same bit. I'm going to take the side handle off and replace it with the rapid drill. Now along with this, I'm going to have a timer running below so you can see exactly the difference in efficiency between the two. Now we'll go ahead and pop the handle off of here and install the rapid drill. And we'll drill a hole right next to it using the same bit. I've clamped down a piece of three quarter inch thick plate in the vise, and I have that same half inch drill bit that we drilled through the I-beam with. Now we'll see if it can pop a hole through this. Because the receiver is beveled, it will allow you to easily drill into pipe. We'll go ahead and pop a hole in this four inch pipe so you can see what I'm talking about. But what it's gonna do is line up perfectly with the center of the pipe and the drill bit's not gonna walk on you. I just popped a 3 8 inch drill bit on here. Let's do a speed test to see how long it takes to drill 10 holes through quarter inch thick steel. And finally, I'll be drilling a hole through some C-channel, which is basically a large section of trailer frame. It's a quarter inch thick, and the hole I'll be drilling is going to be a 13 16 hole with a carbide tip hole cutter. So what we'll do is just go ahead, line it up, and then pop a hole through here. So now you've seen the rapid drill for yourself. It works great. We could put a ton of additional compound leverage on the bit and that enabled us to poke some very large holes into that thick steel in just a matter of seconds. So whether that was the plate steel, the I-beam, or even at the C-channel, it had no problem at all and we didn't have to drill a pilot hole or use any lubrication. So if you're a steel erector, somebody that assembles buildings, or even somebody that builds custom trailers, this could really speed up your productivity and make you a lot more efficient. Now it's not a cheap tool by any means, but when you look at labor rates, in just one or two jobs it really could pay for itself. Now I do want to point out the couple limitations that I've seen with it. Number one is going to be the capacity. 
Unlike a mag drill that could be attached, let's say, in the center of a piece of plate steel, this is really limited to the amount of clearance it has in between the bit and the frame. So it can slip over a very large piece of steel, but if it won't fit in there, this is just not going to work for you. The other thing is not all cordless drills are going to work with this. It has to be one that does have the round design where the side handle goes. If it's the clamp design, it's just not going to work along with this unit. Now lastly, I do want to point out it is made in the USA and carries a lifetime warranty against manufacturer defects. So if you ever do have a problem with it and it's not an abuse situation, they will fix or replace it for you free of charge. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.